All right, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All right, it's Sunday. Okay, I'm actually doing pre-market. I want to actually drop this for um, those that actually were not there yesterday. Okay, I'm doing our um, live session. And a um, lot of requests coming in on what I think of the market in the week to come. What I think of the market, I want to be looking at the um, indices, all right, in terms of the end of the deal. I would want to really take um, into consideration um, this paper this week. Um, why would I want to do that? We had huge support far back in um, June here, yeah, all right? We had the whole of July price then move to breaking above this previous high, okay? So now we are back into testing the June low and what could we expect? All right, guys. So let me show you guys quickly without any further ado. Let me take you what to, let's see what the large money actually do in terms of the um, commitment of trust and what they're doing in terms of how they are positioned. Let's see what came out for last week. Um, last week came in. Uh, we didn't have much of difference, but only that we saw that there was an increase in the open position. And um, that actually did tell me a story. And um, there was also um, added, okay, 1.2, 1,200 long position and also added 1,800 um, short position, but also reflecting with the, um, here. Okay, so also reflecting here, we can see that our arrows are still yellow, all right? Not really changed yet, yet. And um, also what can I um, identify, guys, that they've actually moved from um, 9K, all right, in terms of long position to 18K, okay? So that's probably the highest they've moved um, in the last um, four, four months, probably, okay? But before then, we actually hit 20K. 20K um, since on March, we hit 20K, okay? So also with this, we actually moved from 44K, okay, to 14K. So we are dropping here, and for the for the um, commercial actually dropping, going down, okay, for the non commercial actually, increasing since uh, March, okay? So what can we also see here? We have also seen that we've moved from minus 15 Kenneth kind of position, okay, to minus 1,448, okay, in terms of net position. So what does this tell me? This tell me that um, there's actually things coming into the market actually shift in momentum. Okay, so what do I want to see? From March, how was the market actually faring from March? Let's just quickly look at that from March. How was the market actually going from March? So this um, this is from March, okay, from March. Okay, so the whole of that activity started from March, and we could see that a lot of things happened here the whole of March, and we could see this rise the whole of March, okay? So what we are looking at possibly, we're looking at price coming into testing this low if we have a break. Okay, so um, guys, so how will this affect other currencies? Let's just look at where we expect those drops to come in and where we expect to test. I expect price to actually make a drop from this high to testing this low. If, if, the if word, if there could not be any buying momentum, okay? But if there could not be, so once we have failed to, this June have failed to hold price, if June, support fails to hold price and we break above June, I think we are in for a rally down, the next rally down, okay, in terms of the NZD. So what I'll be looking at early in the week, I'm not looking at be shorting this early in the week, I'll be looking at possibly um, there could be a reaction of this support, okay, of the support to to some, some sort of level, probably could actually take the whole week to actually move to retreat, okay, which I expect that, okay. So we can actually see some strength come into the NZD um, early in the week, okay, because we are at huge support. So NZD can actually start stressing during the week and probably could look to test the um, 50%, 8.2, 61.8, even some 8.6 before the drop. So, but I expect that drop to come in, but I don't expect it to come in immediately, okay, into the market. So how would this affect on our pay? Let's look at what it would affect in terms of on our pay. Um, the NZD card could actually look to strengthen, okay, if the card actually shows um, weakness, Okay, because we have some sort of um, in, in this area. So we can actually have from Monday some sort of trend coming to market to testing high. All right. And um, what could also affect um, this also in the DCHF. Okay. Um, so far, so good. We um, did break through a very key structure here last week. 
okay like you're trading below so we are not looking to buy in the nzdchf early in the week probably if something can actually push this way back into a very key area which we look to buy okay we could look to buy but um for this i don't think it's a good time to actually buy the nzd um chf okay because um CHF is also very strong at the moment which i spoke about last week and um i would possibly look to um um maybe buy the nzd usd all right maybe um sometimes um uh um slight momentum coming in early in the week okay you could actually um see nzd actually strengthen so probably that we could uh possibly see okay nzd um strengthen probably early in the week and uh, if that could be the case i think i want to see monday range okay monday range will really give me an insight of what i want to be doing because all the same i want to short the um aud last week and for this week i think um with the um um big actually breaking a very key support level i think i am starting to um believe that the um asian phase actually would Try to get some momentum okay coming into the market. So, what do I think of the uh, NZD USD? NZD USD is actually in a very structure, in a structure which I would love to really be involved because last week um, we had a support in here. So, we will look to see how price would then add inside of this support because definitely this was a breakout. Guys, let's get this straight. This was a breakout of a very key structure here, and we are actually still testing that level. So if NZ is going to be strong early in the week, I think that would be a nice time to actually buy the NZ USD, maybe to testing this high and also this high early in the week. I think that would be a nice time. Yeah, I really think that would come into play because for this great fall to come into the market, unless we can break through this key level here, um, I don't think it's time to actually short the NZD, but probably look for to buy the NZD probably. Then from this high here, we can look to short much, much later. So probably early in the week, Monday, Tuesday, when I think I'll be doing no other thing but to buy the NZD USD because that would be one of the strongest powers we've seen early in the week. So what do I think of the USD? Can actually the USD um, favor this pay? Yeah, USD can favor this pay because one, what we saw that throughout um, that market have not yet made a new rise, okay? So it was a very big drop, okay? We pregnant and couldn't make a drop. So we are then looking at this high or resistance area holding price. So immediately we can come into this resistance. I think that would be a nice time to actually short anything with the USD. Okay, um, USD can actually be going down. So you are looking to to uh, NZD, okay, NZD USD, okay, can look to go up. Okay, when we hit this area here. So only then we look short. But actually, this is a very nice Fibonacci retracement level. So we can actually look to. Look at possibilities and probability of what will happen in the market. Looking at this, this is one per L Fibonacci level. So it could actually um, be a good area for a drop still coming into the market in terms of the um, USD weakness. Okay, so if it could still continue, because I am actually seeing huge possibility of NZD being strong. I'm not really seeing possibility of USD being weak. Okay, because that's really not my concern, but um, NZD being strong. So we can actually see a more sideways USD in the week to come. I expect to see a more sideways USD in the week to come. Okay. So um, now what I expect to see in terms of my pre-market session, and um, I'll, I'll not only be doing every session on this very session, so I'll be doing only the NZD and what I think of it. So let's look at other pairs, what we think of the NZD generally, because the NZD would be one of the pairs that I would look to interest myself with. So I'll be looking to um, buy the NZD early in the week, okay? So I will look to buy the NZD early in the week, probably much, much later, I will look for other opportunities. So NZD here, Okay, for the euro, euro, I think euro should be strong in the week. So probably this is a high. So I don't think I'll be shutting the NZD or the euro NZD for this week. Okay, so probably if we could find ourselves, okay, maybe early in the week, um, making very massive rise, I think that would be a nice one to actually take um, breathe out. Okay, but it's not really a good time to actually shut the euro. Okay, not shutting the euro this week um, because euro has so much strength coming into the market. And also with the pound, pound also has so much strength coming into the market. So there will be no need to really shut the pound okay no need to reshort the pound because throughout last week we actually saw that pound and that it was more of in sideways so actually made um probably 220 weeks not really much of move okay coming to the market throughout last week it was actually trading um inside a very small channel here that was because of um how the gdp was actually faring not because of the nzd but the nzd was actually weak okay but the end um the gdp was actually not really moving more okay last week so we could be looking at possibilities also here and um, in terms of the NZD. So um, that's what I think, guys. Um, let me know if you like my um, video and also my sessions. You can actually register for that um, four day training workshop, and definitely you will definitely change your whole idea about training, and definitely you will start having those positive results in your trading life. And I hope to see you there. 
and remains like this. We see the brother doing us like cheap analysis, GW trading. Okay. And um, I love you all.